46 local high schools compete in a tournament of knowledge for a trip to Europe on this year's hottest game show, Bay Area Quiz Kids. Brought to you by SBC, Oracle, and the San Mateo Credit Union. And now, the best host on the West Coast, the one, the only, Brad Friedman. Thank you. Thank you so much. Welcome to Quiz Kids and today's match between two of our finest Peninsula high schools. Over here, we've got the Burlingame High School Panthers. <laughs> and from the lovely city of Belmont, the Carlmont Scots. <laughs> so without further ado, we will begin with the collaboration round. <laughs> Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to our show. As you know, in this first round, you will be playing as a team. I have a series of questions here worth 10 points. I will ask your team a question, give you a few seconds to collaborate, and then ask your captain, Dina or Ariel, to give me the answer you think is correct. Give me the right answer, you score the points. If you give me an incorrect answer, however, I will let the other team collaborate and possibly steal those points away from you. We'll go back and forth till the buzzer signals the end of the first round, okay? Good luck to both teams. Burlingame, you get the first question. If I remove all the twos and jokers from a standard deck of cards, what is the probability that I draw an even numbered card? Dina. Uh, one third. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at the shock on your friends' faces. That's great. First question for the Scots. Appropriately, he was a pallbearer at the funeral of William, Wen of William Rehnquist, for whom he worked earlier in his career, who is now Chief Justice of the U.S. Supreme Court. Roberts, John. That's, that's right, John Roberts is right. <laughs> It is used only to describe hurricanes that form in the Atlantic and Northern Pacific east of the International Date Line. What is this scale that classifies hurricanes by the intensity of their winds? Uh, Washington Irving. No, I'm sorry, so close, but you uh, can steal, <laughs> Carl Mont, if you give me the right answer. The Richter scale. <laughs> the Saffir Simpson scale. Scotts, you get the next question. Like Hannibal before him, this general won enduring fame for his victories against superior forces in a losing cause. Who was this general, the son of Revolutionary War hero Henry, and eventually general in chief of the Confederate forces? Robert E. Lee. Robert e. Lee. That's right, for 10 points. <laughs> <coughs> Panthers, from the French word for shoe, which, what is described as the activity of an individual or group designed to destroy or damage equipment or facilities to impair a war effort, for example, by throwing shoes into machinery? A saboteur? Um, okay, a saboteur, sabotage is correct, yes. <laughs> <laughs> this city was first called Na Naniwa, and in 1580, Hideyoshi took the Buddhist temple here for his castle and gave it its modern name. What is this Japanese city second only to Tokyo in daytime population? Kyoto? No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. You can steal. Osaka? That's right, you stole it! <laughs> <laughs> His likeness appears on all notes issued by the Bank of Scotland. Who is this prolific author of The Heart of Midlothian, Rob Roy, and Ivanhoe? Washington Irving. No. <laughs> I believe he has something to do with hurricanes. You can steal. Jabberwocky. Oh, Scots. It's Sir Walter Scott. Oh. oh. 
Oh, how shameful for you. Here's the next question. Oaks is a mansion in Washington, D.C., where a treaty was signed at the end of World War II. What bridge with the same name connects Fremont and Newark in Palo Alto? Dumbarton? You got it for 10 points. <laughs> that signals the end of the round. Let's look at the score. We have a tie, 30 all. It's so nice to begin on an even level. We will come back and meet the teams after these words, so don't go away. We have such a lovely crowd in our studio audience today, and you can also become one of the beautiful people by calling us for tickets and coming down to a future show. Just give us a ring at 650-637-1936, and we will send you tickets to a future show. Let's say hi to the Panthers and Dina Schender. Hi, Dina. Hi. Welcome back. Um, you are, you describe yourself as a math geek. Yes, I do. And you spent this last summer at math camp? Yes, I did. Where was that? It was at Stanford. It was really fun. And you learned about something called topology. Yeah, it's, it's sort of an easy way to describe it is it's like the study of various shapes and space and whatnot. Oh. And so you deal actually with the shape of torus, which is a donut, basically. And so we talked about donut fillings, or not really, but it's an easy analogy. Did you spend a lot of money talking about donut fillings at Stanford this summer? Yeah. Yeah. And does your par do your parents know what you're doing for fun right now? What yes. you're reading? Uh, yes, they actually recommended it. They recommended Lolita to their daughter. Yes, they did. Wonderful. What do you think of it so far? I really like it. Yeah, really it's quite a book, book, isn't it? It is. Arthur Eigenbrot. Hi, Arthur. Hello. You are a, magi a musician. Yes, a magician. Well, you are more of a magician because you play like a hundred instruments. What do you play? I uh, play the saxophones. All of them? Most, well, yeah, because I like the little Tenor instruments. sax, the little tiny yeah. ones, and the big ones. Um, bassoon, bass clarinet, clarinet, and piano. And piano, yeah. and you're in the jazz band yes. at school. And what do you play primarily for jazz bands? Well, the saxophone, alto sax. Okay, alto sax. Well, good luck to you this year with all your musical efforts. Thank you. Evan Klein. Hello. You're a senior. I am. You're on the tennis team. I am. And you have a heck of a schedule. You You've taken four AP that. classes yep. in architectural design. <laughs> fine art and to You've graduate. Yeah. Fine art to graduate, okay. And um, you also find time to be the president of the bowling club. Um, yeah, it's not a very usual club, but um, it's fun. We go bowling. We actually, Arthur and I went this morning. Um, to get ready for Quiz Kids. Yeah, uh -huh. it's fun. How would you bowl? Uh, I don't remember what I got today, but... What's your highest score? Uh, 211. So we're going to see if you can score higher than 211 today <laughs> as your final score of Quiz Kids. We're going to keep Mark Thanks. on that, okay? Okay. Good luck to you. Let's give a big hand to your coach, Mr. Tom Willard. <laughs> and let's welcome the three new members of the Sir Walter Scott Fan Club. <laughs> Captain Ariel Sarver. Cap, uh, Ariel, you're a mu mu musician as well. I don't know why I keep wanting to say magician, but you're a musician as yeah. well. And you do something really interesting, cool with little kids in yeah. uh, music mentoring. What is that? Um, we go down to the, we take Carlmont students down to the local elementary schools and we teach music to the kids based on instruments. Okay, so primarily you're teaching them how to play instruments? Yeah, we'll and teach them how to read music and how to hold a clarinet or whatever. Like so that. do you play the clarinet? Yeah. Would you and Arthur be willing to do a duo, duo for us, a duet? No. I don't have my instrument. <laughs> don't have your instrument. You guys have to come prepared to quiz kids next time. Kim Chang. Kim, you're into theater. Yes. Now you were an actress. Yes. And you worked quite a bit with a local community theater. The San Carlos Children's Theater? Yes. And now you're working with them, but in a, n a different capacity. What do you do? Um, I act as the student stage manager um, behind the scenes, and I give the little kids their props, and I push them out on stage at the correct times and feed them lines if they forget them. So what's the age range of kids who are involved? It depends on the play. The, there's some plays that are from, like, third grade to, like, eighth grade, and then there's eighth grade to high school, but there's not not eighth grade, but like sixth grade to high school. And you've got a production coming up in November. What is that? The Jungle Book. The Jungle Book. Was that the, like the 11th and 12th? It's all, since it's during the school year, it's everybody. It's every, okay, so, well, good luck to you there. Thank you. And Sean O'Loughlin. Yes. You also used to be an actor. 
Yes. What kind of what, what was your favorite part as an actor? I played nicely, nicely Johnson in Guys and Dolls. That's a freshman. great part. But now you're also working backstage, and you're working on yes. the school play right now. Yes, the what? Wizard of Oz. The Wizard of Oz. Um, the first two weeks of October. Uh, November. 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 Let's hope it's November because you haven't done it yet. And yes. Here we are in the middle of October. Well, good luck to you on there. Break a leg. You also play rugby. Uh, yes. Good luck to you. Don't break a leg. Um, I'll try. Yeah. Let's give a big hand to your coach, Patricia Bronstein. Would you welcome back for the first time this season our mighty judge and your friend, Mr. Frank Sabote. <laughs> so listen to these few messages and then stay tuned. We're about to play some more Quiz Kids. Don't go away. Your hands on your buzzers. That wasn't Ariel. <laughs> that, that's Kim. It's Kim. Uh oh. All right. Um, we are going to have a series of ten point questions, and I'm just fixing this a little bit here so I can tell who's actually doing this. All right. We're going to have a series of ten point questions that I will ask you, and then the first person to buzz in gets to answer for your team. Give me the right answer, you score ten points. If you give me the wrong answer, I will let the other team collaborate for a few seconds, and if you give me the right answer, you'll steal those points away, okay? We are at 30 to 30, so it's anybody's game. Here comes the first question. Good luck to both teams. The relationship between this and the subject is sometimes called the nexus. What is the second part of a sentence that is an expression of what is true of the subject? It is called the predicate. What part of the flower on top of the stamen contains the microsporangia or pollen sacs? <laughs> we call that the anther. The term was first used by King Charles I of England in 1639 and through NATO has several of them for different regions. The United States has only one. What is this title held by the President of the United States, abbreviated C in C? Yes, Kim. Commander in Chief. Correct. When first discovered, the two British astronomers called them LGM, or Little Green Men. What are these rotating neutron stars that are observable as sources of electromagnetic radiation? Arthur. Red Dwarf. No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. You can steal. Black holes. Pulsars. One of this artist's designs is depicted on the 2004 Iowa State Quarter. Who is this patron artist of Cedar Rapids who painted American Gothic? Sean. George O'Keefe. No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. You could collaborate. <laughs> Dina. Irving Washington. <laughs> Grant Wood. It has the special property that it is conserved even in collisions. Uh, no, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. What is this physical quantity defined as mass times velocity? Force. We call it momentum. Uh -oh, Charlie Huff, Tom Candiotti, and Tim Wakefield are baseball players famous for throwing what pitch that doesn't spin? Arthur. Knuckleball. Correct. The current head of this family, Otto, opposed Hitler's union of Germany with his home country of Austria. What family held the imperial crown of the Holy... Yes, Arthur. Bismarck. No, I'm sorry. What family held the imperial crown of the Holy Roman Empire from the mid-13th century until 1806? Oh, who's in the Von Trapp? Von Trapp? <laughs> no. <laughs> the Habsburgs. But they do say the hills were alive with Hatsburgs years ago. <laughs> After his brother died, he changed his name from Leaf back to his birth name. Yes, Kim. Joaquin Phoenix. Correct. 
Though he is mostly known from fictional writing, he did actually live and had an illustrious career in espionage in the service of Cardinal Mazarin. Who was this captain of the musketeers who may not have known anyone named Athos, Porthos? Yes, Sean. D'Artagnan. Uh, Correct. The first ones used for Gregorian chant had only four. Yes, Evan. Calendar. No, I'm sorry. The first ones used for Gregorian chant had only four lines, and music for lutes may have had six. What are these sets of four or five lines on sheet music used to indicate pitch and rhythm? Staff. Correct. The vinculum is the line that separates the top from the bottom. What are these mathematical expressions that contain an integer divided by a non-zero integer called the numerator and the... Yes, Kim. Fractions. Right. Just recently, the World Golf Championship Tournament took place at Harding Park in San Francisco. What credit card company sponsored the event? Yes, Evan. Visa. No, I'm sorry. Express. It is American Express. That's right. Evan would say you're correct. <laughs> the Tagus is the longest river on what large European... Yes, Dina. Um, Czech Republic. No. The Tagus is the longest river on what large European peninsula that contains Andorra, Gibraltar, Portugal, and Spain? Iberian. Iberian. Iberian? That's right. What Western theater term is generally applied to a single company of actors putting on a variety of plays? Yes, Arthur. Troop. No, I'm sorry. Uh, single company of actors putting on a variety of plays successively for short runs. Festival? We call it a repertory company. And that's the end of this round. Let's look at the score. Berlin Game has 40. Carl Munts in the lead with 100 points. Yeah. Berlin Game. The point values will double in the next round, so you can catch up. Let's see what happens when we return. Extreme lightning round! This play stays the same, folks, but the point values are doubled. Good luck, 100 to 40. Recently, a compromise was reached in which a right-center coalition government would be formed in Angel... Yes, Dina. Germany. Correct. Eamon de Valera led what 1916 rebellion as the Irish attempted to wrest control of their country from the United Kingdom? Yes, Sean. Uh, the Easter Rebellion. Um, yes, I can accept that. Easter re Rebellion, Easter Rising. Fort Hinman, Drury's Bluff, Island Number 10, Hampton Roads, and Mobile Bay were all naval battles that took place during what major? Sean. War. Correct. From a Greek word meaning drop, it is a type of speleothem. What is this column of mi minerals that rises from the ground of a cave? Evan. Stalactite. No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Stalactite. Stalagmite. That's right, it's stalagmite. The teeth are tall. Yes, Kim's right. The original term for this referred to an area without trees but much grass, though now it refers to a grassy area with scattered trees. What is this grassland which lends its. Yes, Dina. Prairie? No, which lends its name to a major city in Georgia. Savannah. 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 What name is given to a circle of radius length one centered on the origin? Yes, Arthur. Unit circle. Correct. College Baseball's World Series is played at Rosenblatt Stadium in what city in the heart of America? Arthur. Cooperstown. No, I'm sorry. You can steal. Omaha. 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 <laughs> his, his essay, The Subjection of Women, was considered the beginning of liberal feminism. Who was this utilitarian philosopher and economist known for his work on liberty? Yes, Kim. Thomas Jefferson. That's incorrect. You can steal. Frederick Douglass. John Stuart Mill. I wish it had been Washington Irving. Oh. It was founded in 1614 by an Ottoman general who named it Tehran after a military victory. Yes, Evan. Uh, I, I, I ran. No and built a mosque, a sauna, and a bakery there. What city later became the capital of Albania? Tehran. It's Tirana. 
This occupation comes from the Latin word for doorkeeper, such as the Roman god with a similar name. Who is this person who takes care of a building? Some, yes, Ariel. Janitor. That's right. Contemporary versions of this play might be Pretty Women and She's All That. In what George Bernard Shaw play does Henry Iggins wager that he can, yes, Dina. The Turn of the Screw? No. Uh, in, yes. My Fair Lady? Or no. Pygmalion? No. I've got to accept My Sorry. Fair Lady, right? Sorry. Yes, it's Pygmalion. The name was coined by architect Sir Arthur Evans, who named it for the creator of the labyrinth beneath the palace at Knossos. What was this ancient civilization centered at Crete? Yes, Kim. Minos, or the, min no, Minos. I'm sorry, I need more. Minoans. What? Minoans? Yeah, the Minoan civilization is right. In Latin, this European country is known as the Helvetic Confederation. What conspicuously neutral land, yes, Dina. Switzerland. Correct. They were reported as early as 28 BC by Chinese astronomers who could see them through the swirling dust in the Asian desert. What are these regions on the sun's surface that appear darker? Sean. Sunspots. Correct. The Colossus of Rhodes, one of the seven wonders of the ancient world, was the inspiration for what similarly colossal, yes, Sean. Liberty. You're right. Yes. That's the end of the game. Let's look at the score. 100 for Burlingame. With 280, Carlmont is moving on. <laughs> Panthers, thank you so much for playing so well. We wish you the very best of luck with your school year. We'll see you in an upcoming tournament. And we'll see you every week here on Quiz Kids. Bye-bye. The following underwriters help to make this program possible. SBC, the San Mateo Credit Union, and Oracle. Tournament champions will win an all-expense-paid trip to Europe, courtesy of ACIS. Additional support provided by these Bay Area newspapers, the Burlingame Scottish Rite of Freemasonry, and the Knights Templar.